Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. In today's video, I'm going to continue on my building a bee loader series. Today we're going to square up our big pipe here on the end, and uh, once we figure out the exact length we need it, we'll cut the other end off. We'll also be working on improving our trailer. Okay, so to square this pipe up, I have a, a piece of milk carton paper here, and uh, what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to use it as a square. It has a straight edge on it, and if I wrap this, if I wrap this cleanly around my end here and match up the edges real nice, like it'll give me a square line to follow, and then I'll trace it out with a piece of soapstone. Okay, now I'll use an acetylene torch to trim this off. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do with this little trailer is, is that I'm going to, I'm going to try and figure out uh, where exactly I'm going to put the loader on it, and so that's going to determine the length of the tongue and several things like that. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to get my little cutter wheel and I'm going to cut this old hitch off and some other junk and smagma and extra wires and things like that. So we're just going to get it cleaned up. Okay, so I've got my trailer flipped upside down and. Uh, found a couple pieces that I'm going to put in here. I'm going, to, I'm going to notch out under here so this all fits together and then I'll splice these I-beam and box tube together. Box tube will work nice. I can put the, put the trailer hitch on the end of it and the I-beam will uh, provide nice support down the center. Okay, so I've got the angle iron there notched out and the I-beam set in there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut on the box tube to make it, you know, slip up on the I-beam and then I'll, I'll weld it all together. Okay, so here's the setup for my splice between the box tube and the I-beam. I notched out the box tube, ground on a little bit, and then uh, this will fit together nice and tight like this. I will clamp it to the table, make sure that it's flat, and weld it together. Okay, so here's my setup. I, uh, I've got that beam set in where I notched it out. It kind of sagged in the middle when I did that and I figured it would. So underneath I have a piece of angle iron clamp to hold it flat. And then I clamp the I-beam to, to that angle. So everything should come out square and accurate and flat again. Okay, so I got my little uh, grid system put in there to support that, that main pillar. That's what the circle is there. And then uh, I got the trailer flipped back over. This is the right side up. I got a whole bunch of welding here to do and it'll take a while. So I'll keep after it. Okay, so I've got my trailer reinforced. I put some uh, little paddles here on the outside to weld my out outriggers to. Um, I'm kind of done with it now. I'm going to flip it over and finish welding um, things I need to get underneath and then I'm going to put my outrigger system on. I've been also working on that and I'll kind of show you what my plan is there. Okay, so here's my outrigger system. What I did is I went to the local sawmill and I got some chain links from them, big heavy chain, and I modified it. So what I did was this arm here used to be the same shape as this one, but I heated it and bent it down. What I'm going to do is weld this solid here, and then what I can do is I can add that into the end of the box tube here, weld this all together, and then on the end of my box tube, I can, uh, I can weld my trailer jack uh, plug right there. Okay, so I got my outriggers welded on. They're going to fold out like yay. And We'll put the jack on the end. I got all four of them welded on. Um, things are looking good. I'm going to flip this trailer back over and uh, we'll go outside and we'll put the jacks on it and uh, see how it works. Okay, well there it is, all stretched out and 
kind of adjusted up level, it, uh, it works real good. So super stable. I'll, uh, I can jump on it and it uh, doesn't wiggle or move. So Okay, so that's it for today. In the next video, I'm going to work on the B fork that lifts the boxes. The reason I'm doing that is because I need to know how tall I'm going to end up having it. That will determine how tall I'm going to cut this pipe. I don't want to be over height. I don't want to be too short. Um, I do want to keep the overall height as low as I can and still accomplish my job. The taller it is, the more it's going to want to flip over on me going down the highway. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Questions and comments are always appreciated. Have a good day and we'll catch you next time.